Hi, I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. In this video, we're going to be using specular reflection with your slit lamp to look at the corneal endothelium. Specular reflection is a useful technique to examine the quality of the tear film and visualize the integrity of the corneal surfaces. It involves hive magnification viewing of the slit lamp bulb reflections off the anterior and posterior corneal surfaces. The first Purkinje image relates to the boundary between the air and the tear film and provides information about the quality of the tear film. Here, you can see particles moving in the tears over the specular reflection. These reflections are only visible when the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This can happen by chance during scanning with an optic section or parallel pipe, but can also be specifically set up as we will show you here, I will concentrate on viewing the Purkinje image relating to the back surface of the cornea, the corneal endothelium. Unlike any other slit lamp technique, specular reflection provides some information about the cellular structures of a small area of the corneal endothelium. But it is only visible if the resolution of the slit lamp is high, the device is properly focused, and the magnification is 25 times or even 40 times. An LED light source also enhances the view due to the additional light scatter it provides. With the room lights down and starting with a magnification of 16 times, focus a narrow parallel pipe slip beam on the area of the cornea to be examined. Rotate the observation system so that it is 45 degrees to one side and check that the view of the cornea is still in focus. The light source should then be rotated by an equal but opposite amount, in this case 45 degrees in the opposite direction. Keep looking down the eyepieces as you make small adjustments to the angle of illumination until a bright reflection coincident with the front surface of the cornea becomes visible. This is a very dynamic technique and requires constant adjustments of the joystick to keep the bright reflection in view, particularly as you increase the magnification to 25 or 40 times. With the light beam coming from the right side, the bright reflection from the tear film or epithelium is on the right side of the section. If you look carefully to the left of the bright reflection, there is a smaller, dimmer reflection aligned with the back surface of the cornea. This is the specular reflection of the endothelium. You will only see this down one eyepiece. A tiny forward movement of the joystick will be required to bring the endothelial reflection into focus. Continue to make fine adjustments as you observe the texture of the corneal endothelium. Here, we have two examples of specular reflection off the corneal endothelium. The left image shows a regular endothelial mosaic, while the right image shows irregularity related to long-term contact lens work. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. And if you'd like this video, come back to watch more. Or you can learn more at Topcon Healthcare University.